Hello everyone, Suffolk Hobbit, and here we are with another video. This one is uh, for, from the video I did a month ago now, sadly. Um, it's like a saying of what video is going to be coming up, what I've got planned for the year, blah, 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 blah. And I thought I would kick off with this, which is something a little bit different. And it's basically, well, I'm calling it tips and like just general helpful advice, I hope. Um, for people trying to juggle a hobby as well as as well as having a family or you know starting a family or about to have their first little newborn basically it's sort of coming from my experiences how I managed to keep it going and ironically ended up actually painting more models building more models than I ever did before I had a little family funnily enough um, yeah and that's what I thought I'd uh, that's what I thought I'd try and do just to help this is by no means an official guide, this is by no means the way to do things. This is the first piece of advice guys, right here, you know, girls and boys, you know, this, this advice goes to everyone out there. And that is, each little one is, you know, each little baby is completely unique to you, they've all got their own little personalities, you need the, my, this is the best advice, work around them, you know, do what, however they roll, however they work. The little personalities, the little traits, you will know when you'll think, ah, oh, they're definitely going to be asleep for this amount of time. They always have to nap then, they will sleep through the night. They won't through sleep, they won't sleep through the night, but they will nap during the afternoon. All that sort of stuff. You'll know when their patterns are. That's how you work around. But that's my first bit of advice. That's the best bit of advice. Go with the flow. Don't stress, don't give yourself pressure, don't think, I've got all these models. My God! I've got a titan to build and it's taken me six months to do a leg. You know, it doesn't matter. Just enjoy it as best you can. There's no need to rush, you know, just go with the flow. It will be fine, honestly. So that is that is the best bit of advice, you know. Get to know your little and, sort of, you know, that's, that's, that is the best thing, okay? So, yeah, there you go. Video's done. All right. <laughs> um, but no, seriously, when you do have your little and, um, or if you just had little and, or, you know, all, all that sort of stuff, but having your own mini human is the best thing ever. That is that is the best miniature you will ever ever own or have. You know, you could buy the most expensive Forge World model, the most expensive, I don't know, Warband for Saga, I don't know, whatever miniatures you get, nothing will compare to having a little miniature human, your own little mini human, that is the best thing ever. It is it's cool. It's very, very cool. And congratulations to those of you who've just had it. Yeah, had one, expecting one, you know, had many. Congratulations, it's all good fun. I'm sure you all know. I'm oh, looking forward to it. I know I was, I was very nervous, but uh, it is a life changing thing. And you will find, I found some people, ah, oh, your life's gonna change, you'll never get to do this. Oh, that hobby's gone out the window now, you'll never get to do that again. It's rubbish, it is absolute rubbish. It's hard work to make the hobby work, it's hard work to to change your life it is that is hard but if you just keep at it just try let yourself settle into it don't give yourself any any stresses anything like that just settle into it and you will be fine i promise i'm one for worrying quite a lot about things just how i am i'm quite laid back but i do worry and for me to be able to sort of go with the flow and get there hopefully get there ish and do things okay i hope then you know i'm sure you're going to be fine which leads me on to my first point i've got a little I've actually written on the back of a receipt. This is this is this is how cool I am. I write notes and things on the back of receipts to help remind me for these videos. Yeah, no expense spared, right? So first point is simply plan ahead. So when I went to, when you know my little girl's first born stuff and you know hobbies was not on my priority for a couple of months at least. You know that that just goes without saying, but. When I started to get back into it, I was looking at my boxes and models and thinking, right, okay, well, she sleeps in a little bit in the mornings, it's Saturday tomorrow, so what I'll do is I'll, you know, do a bit of a paint session, because some dwarfs to paint, I'll put paint them. So that morning would come along, get up, get all my bits out, get my paints out I need, get all the paint brushes out, the water, all the rig and roll you go to, to get your stuff settled and sorted. Um, and then, by the time I'd done that, started to paint, little and wake up. Doesn't matter, she's got to wake up, you know. Um, go get her. Fine, end of. But all that time's been wasted getting the bits ready and stuff and you're getting your paints out, your water, blah 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 blah. So I quickly learned get everything out beforehand. 
the next day, the next couple of days before your planned paint session or when you think you've got time to do something will be. So what I start to do is I can either the mornings or the evenings, blah blah blah, think, okay, well tomorrow morning I'll get up really early or something to you know, or what or you know, late night sort of thing to uh, have a little paint session. But what I'll do is I'll get everything ready now. So, you know, say it's say it's Friday night for example. Friday night I think, alright, okay, I've got five arable dwarfs I want to paint. I need to paint their browns, I want to do their metals and try and get their faces done. So with that in mind, I'd quickly, you know, me and, you know, little ones asleep, little girls asleep, you know, me and the missus were getting ready for bed and stuff. I was like, right, okay, I'm just going to quickly get the paintbrushes out. I'll get the paintbrushes I need out. I'm going to do base coats, I'll get the medium brush, whatever. Get the, the paints you need out. Get your water ready, your little, whatever you use to actually paint with on, you know, stencil cards, you know, yeah, your cutting mats, whatever you have. Get it all out ready. That's five or ten minutes saved. I know it doesn't seem like much, but when you have a little and life is busy and time is short. And those five or ten minutes can make all the difference. That could be that last model out of a set of five, you know, you've got it base coated or something like that. So plan ahead and do things ahead of time. Same with like with uh, modelling, sculpting. That's what I did. And that leads me on to my second point, which I did just slightly mention. And that is... I'm an early riser, I get up early anyway, sort of five, half five, I'm up regardless. Weekends, Sundays, you name it, I'm up early, it's just how I am. I've got some of my best bedtime reading done early in the morning, you know, stuff like that. You know, or going to bed late if you can afford it, you know, try doing that. And that's what I do, so some mornings I'd get up at half four even, even early for me, I'd get up at half four and think, well, little girl, will she will sleep in, she went through a phase of sleep in for quite some time. So I think, okay, I'm used to her routine, again, go with the flow. I think, okay, well, you know, we've got nothing planned for tomorrow, you know, I've not got work, I'm not doing this, it's a lazy day, I'm not hopefully going to be doing anything as far as I know. I'll go to bed early, get up early, you know, I'll be up, get me coffee, I've pre-planned all the stuff I'm going to do, and what I do is I have like, I get up at half four or five, whatever suits you, but I'm just, just saying about me as an example, I've got up at half four, I've got me ten, I think it was Cabalite Warriors at the time, and then bosh, paint them. And then Litland's waking up, you know, later on, seven, whenever you, she used to wake up at you know, that particular point in time. Two and a half hours of painting time, you know, that you, uh, your wife, your other half's asleep or doing what they want to do, whatever. You know, you've got things done, blah, blah, blah. And you've got two and a half hours of paint time. And that's what I used to do quite a lot for a period of time, going with the flow. I'd do early morning sessions, it, you know. I'd do, again, don't make yourself ill through time is because you're getting up early just to get stuff done don't do that but if you can afford to if it's a sensible day we've not got anything planned blah 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 blah. do that why not i did and it works same goes for late nights now my other half she works late nights um most evenings and things to some extent so once i've got a uh, little and sleep it's my time again get all the housework done make sure things are done don't you know be selfish you've got to do things to help you know the other half out so I get all the bits and bobs done, you know, sort the animals out, the pets, you know, I don't know, life and house stuff, basically get it done. But then afterwards I think, okay, cool, it's half eight. Hmm, don't have to go to bed till eleven, I suppose. I'll do some painting, modelling. And again, do the same thing, you know. If there's a programme you want to watch, do it on the catch-up, you know, catch-up TV or something. Don't have to watch it there and then. That's what I do for mornings and evenings and those few things I've mentioned. Try doing that again, go with the flow. It's your little and you've got to work around and things like that. And obviously I'm I'm coming from a slightly if you're, you know, by yourself. Obviously, you know, with your other half as well, work around them, do things and stuff, you know, that's the thing. But those first few points is generally if you're by yourself or if you're not been being selfish or disturbing others or anything, or you can sneak up early without waking up the other half or baby or whatever. That, that's that's kind of the, the, the gist I'm going for that if I haven't sort of made that apparent it's not being selfish but if you have the time and the ability to do those things by yourself in some way shape or form do that that leads on to my next point uh, I'm trying to see do you know what I haven't even written that down I was trying to thought about it and then didn't write down on my awesome remind sheet and that is don't be selfish there's nothing worse than that um, and that is you know Make sure you've helped around the house first. Uh, don't just say, look, you know, I want to do this, I want to do this, and you know, make sure you spend plenty of time on things and you know get housework done and stuff. Don't sort of 
I'll do the washing up later. And then it gets like half 11 at night, you're knackered, you're falling asleep, painting your model. And they think, oh, I'll just wash up in the morning. That's not fair. You know, make sure you always have things done. You've got to do your more than your fair share. And so that is life in general. That's something that has to be done, obviously. And then again, that then that allows you to then have time to do things. So I've just thought of touching that point there, just in case you think, oh, yeah, I could just do that and not help. You always got to help. But by helping, getting things done, teamwork, all the rest of it, that's so you can get around to doing your hobbies, your time and stuff. Um, and one thing that uh, me and wife have done, you know, often, not a huge amount, because the way our shifts and things work, we don't see too much of each other. So our time together is precious, and we always make sure we spend loads of time together. I resent not seeing my little and that much, you know, because of work. It's just, just, it's just a five day a week work, but you know, you know, busy days, everyone works five days a week, but I personally hate going to work because I want to be with little and all the time. It's just one of those things, you know. Um, so what we tend to do is now and again, you know, I try to think to be honest, every six, seven, eight weeks, I don't know, some, whatever, something like that. My point is, you know, I'll say to uh, my uh, lovely wife, tell you what, I'll take Little and out, we'll go to the park, we'll go down to town, just me and, me and Little and little girl, we'll just do things, and you can do what you want at home, you just relax, you can have a bath, do whatever you want, and then, so she do the same for me, we'll swap, so then, you know, she'll, say, she'll take Libby out, go to the park, do bits in town or whatever, you stay at home, do, you know, do what you want to do. When it comes, to, so with that, you've then got your time. You've you've let your other half have time to do things. Quite rightly, they deserve some time to do things, same as you do. And then swap. It's basically a swap thing. That's what I'm getting at. So you know, one day you'll do it. The next day they'll do it. Do that, and then again, you've then got they've gone. You know, you've you've had your you know your fair share of taking turns because you need your own time. You need your hobby time. You need time. We're only human. We we have our enjoyments and things we like to do. You know, doing that is a brilliant thing. I think it's really good. And again, I've had loads of hours where I've managed to do, you know, painting things. Now, I mean, we only ever do it for two or three hours because we simply miss each other. It's as simple as that. But again, two or three hours, you get loads done. Painting, you know, modelling, all sorts of things. So again, that's something else that I, um, myself and wife found is a good little extra thing to do. Stacey, uh, Stacey has her hobbies as well. She's got her things she loves to do. And it's nice to give and take. It's as simple as that. So I recommend that one as well. Let's have a little look. <clears throat> this is another one. This is a, this is more of a priority type one. And again, the, you know, these are all just opinions, my ideas, things I've stumbled across. No right or wrong way of doing it. And for myself, I had to. I was. I was, did loads of hobbies. You know, um, before we start the family, I did lots of martial arts. Um, I did other bits and bobs and things, and you know, uh, all sorts. And obviously, you can't keep all of these things up, especially what I did. You, you just couldn't. You know, I was able to do it originally because, again, my other half, Stacey, works um, odd shifts and different things. So I, was, so I had loads of free time to do stuff. It's just how it worked. But obviously, with Little and it changed. And I sort of thought to myself, right, what gives me the ultimate happiness? And so, in the end, and also financially, it depends on your financial situation as well, it can be hard to keep paying for things when you've got you know, such a cost as a Little and. So... Apologies, I do keep saying little, and it's, it's just a, 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 a thing. Uh, uh, what's the word? I can't think, uh, uh, what do you call it? I can't think now, but I always call my little and little, and so I'll always say little. And so, apologies if I say little and too much. I think I've just said it three times there, but there. Um, lost me trail of thinking now. Um, yeah, and so I ended up sort of looking financially and stuff, and thought, right, okay, I can't keep doing these clubs, I can't keep doing this club, I can't keep doing this. What gives me the ultimate happiness, and that's when I come to this, you know, the realization. I thought, you know, what well, actually the thing I love doing best, although I like doing all of them, is I do like my models. I like my modeling, something really therapeutic. I find, you know, from a long day at work or just a, a long day of shopping or whatever, I personally find therapy-wise, sitting down, got your lamps, got your paints, out, you're painting something, you know, you're, you know, you're talking to your wife or you've got a friend around or something, you're doing it together or whatever. For me, painting was the most enjoyable thing for for a hobby. And that's when I thought, okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna have to let the other hobbies go. I intend to go back to it in the future when 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 life allows me to, when things happen, blah blah blah. But I've I sacrificed a lot of hobbies and other things. So my main, 
you know, focus was family and a little bit of modeling for Games Workshop and all the rest of it as well. So that's another tip. That's one thing I recommend doing again is, you know, so look at what you enjoy best. You know, you might like doing models, but you might be an avid runner. Well, obviously running takes up time, depends on how many miles you want to do. You might prefer running to modeling. Well, in that case, choose running. Do running more. You know, don't do your models. Put your models, pack your models away. Come back to them in years to come or something. You know, invite, uh, uh, cars, you like doing cars, you prefer cars, you do cars in. But that's, that's another point. That's what I sort of... Uh, uh, recommend doing, you know, again, it's something I did and it worked for me, simple as that. Um, where else we got? Um, when when you, uh, your little baby or your little ones are uh, really, really young, you'll find they nap all the time, all the time. Again, my original point, go with the flow. And what uh, we used to do is we used to sort of steal time, as it were, you know, and this isn't just with like modeling and stuff, to be honest, this can be used in many different ways. But again, if you have the option and you're not being selfish and you've done everything else to help support each other and things, steal time to do a little bit of modeling. Let her have quite a few naps, uh, she could do quite a few little naps and just things, or just quite contently lay there, bless her, she just quite happily lay there and just, we'd have like a little star thing, you know, for and stuff, and it's all good for, and she's quite happy. There again, you know, keep an eye on her, keep her safe, or if she's asleep, Either way, my point is, steal a bit of time if you can. You know, say, Stacey, oh, you know, do you mind if I just quickly paint a few bits of red on this dude? Or vice versa, if Stacey wants to paint something or something like that. You know, little one's asleep, she's safe. She's, you know, there's no sort of need to sort of really focus on her or do something with the baby because they're very demanding. They need a lot of attention, obviously, as we know, or you're about to find out, whatever. Again, steal time, then that way, oh, a little bit more painting done. And they, all those things I've just gone through, you know, those couple of early mornings or one late night, the, you know, the swapping, looking after uh, little and so either or can have a bit of quality time together with little and whilst you're at home relaxing doing your thing, um, the hobbies and stuff, all these things accumulate to some good time. And before you know it, you will start going through your models. Obviously, never as quick. Well, I assume, depends on your circumstances and things. Um, but never as quickly as you would be if you was just by yourself or however the relationship was or whatever you're doing before Little turns up. But again, that helped me. These are like my things that I've come up with that just simply help me. Simple as that, as I keep wanting to say, because I don't want to sort of think, yeah, he said that. I tried to do that. It's all gone wrong. What's he going on about? These are just my tips and things that have helped me. And by me doing those things, by myself doing those things, you know, I got loads done. I got loads done. So much, so much more than I ever did before. I see, it could be, I suppose, because of my other hobbies as well, but I always had time to do things. Um, and obviously that did change. And yeah, it, it does, does help. Um, what else? Ah, the final point, because there's not many points to be quite honest, but the final point I had, and this is one. If you're a brave, hardcore geek, okay, you've got to be a hardcore geek, you've got to be tough, you've got to be a Viking warrior, you know, we're talking serious right here, okay, guys, take some things to work. Yeah, I know, I've said it, I know, I've said it, it's scary, isn't it? But in all seriousness, I've done that plenty of times. I've taken a few models to work. Now, primarily, I paint my undercoat on, you know, it's, this is how I work, and that's a time. Obviously, that in itself is time consuming. You can imagine. I know there's plenty of people that spray out there. I still paint my undercoat on. It's just a, a thing I have. It's a routine I have. So a lot of times, I, you know, with a few bits of banter from the work chaps and things, having a laugh on my uh, breaks and things. But I would take my models with me. So on my lunch break or my morning breaks at work or whatever, you know, break time. It's my time. Such. Paint your models, take your models to work, and do basic bits at work. You know, put up with a bit of banter, a bit of uh, Mickey taking. It's going to happen. Some people don't appreciate a hobby such as what we do, like wargaming and things. Whatever. If you can laugh it off and take a little joke, then you'll be fine. It, you know, all the blokes at work, they ended up actually being quite interested and they'd sort of look at the models. Oh, you know, what's this? What's this? Oh, well, that's actually quite cool. And it's, it's, it's good fun, it's good fun, it is a laugh. But again, that is the, the last point that I can think of, personally, out of my little list of stuff, because, you know, that's all I've got, it's what worked for me. Um, 
But I took things to work. I sort of think, okay, I've got a load of undercoats to do. You know, I've got loads of like appeal guard. I've got a lunch break. Well, after I've eaten my lunch, we just sort of sit around in the cafeteria till we go back to work. Hmm. Well, after I've eaten my lunch, that gives me 20 minutes. Hmm. I could paint something in 20 minutes. And that's what I do. And I recommend the same thing, you know. Because you don't have a lot of time and also getting to and from work and stuff, don't take loads of models and paints or, you know, get yourself in trouble or anything. But if you've got a sensible, you know, uh, canteen, you know, it's, uh, plenty of space, you know, cupboards and things, I bring my models to work, I put them in my locker at work, and then uh, go to the canteen and do a little bit of undercoats and stuff. And I recommend doing that. You can't go wrong with that. It helps, it does help. And again, it all saves time, which allows you to keep doing the hobby that you want to do, whether it's modelling or you know, anything else, that is how it works. And that leads me to my sort of ultimate conclusion, really. That is it. Um, yeah, it is those points. Uh, I'm trying to sort of, if I sort of just quickly round it back up again, because I know I'll probably do waffle and sort of go off subject slightly, I do apologise. But in a nutshell, go with the flow when you first have your little baby. You know, only you will know how they respond to things, their routine, what they want, what they don't want. Go with the flow with them. That's how it will work. Secondly, plan ahead. You know, plan your you know that evening before you go to bed or something. Think I'm going to get up early in the morning to do some modelling. Plan ahead. Get your get your all the equipment and the paints and things you'll need to save that five or ten minutes. So you've got a bit more time of actually just modelling the next day or the next night. Um, Sacrifice your other hobbies, you know, bit of give and take, do things, sort of think to yourself, what is the best thing that really, really helps you relax and enjoyment? Focus on that. Um, do things around the house, make sure you've done more than your fair share and stuff as well to make sure things are done. You know, don't be selfish, don't think, you know, you've got to give and take, but by doing things and helping out and things, you know, give, it gives you more time to do stuff, so always do that. Um, steal time with the little one. Uh, you know, when I have a quick nap, if it's okay, again, not being selfish or anything like that, but if you have got the time and the ability to, quickly grab a model, quickly grab, you know, quickly do a bit of gluing or something safely, obviously. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't let them go near super glue. <laughs> um, again, steal a bit of time when the little ones are asleep, napping or whatever, stealing time. Um, swapping, you know, you treat your other half to a nice soapy bath and things, nice relax or whatever they like to do, whatever they like to do. You have some lovely quality time of you know thingy, and then they s swap and take turns. It's nice to have a bit of you, your. It's nice to have a bit of of you time as such, you know. It's always a good thing to do. And then, uh, yeah, taking stuff to work helps again. Obviously, only in your break times. You, you you can't paint stuff at work. That's not good. But in your break times, it's all good. That's your time. Why not? Just brace yourself for a bit of Mickey taking maybe. But um, yeah. I hope that's helped. That's what I did. That's that's what I still do now. Funnily enough, um, it did help with me because obviously my other half is on different uh, uh, shifts as such. So often, you know, in the evenings, uh, my poor wife's at work, still sort of thing. She's still working and things, but little ones asleep. So it is just me in the house. So it does, in that sense, it is easier for me to recommend some of these options. But they can still work in many different ways. You know, my main point is simply just go with the flow. You all know how your little one works, how they respond to things, what they enjoy and stuff, how content they are, all that sort of stuff. But if worse comes to the worst, guys, don't worry about it. Your hobby is your hobby. You'll have time for it in some way, shape or form. Enjoy the time you have doing your hobby. Don't give yourself the pressure of thinking, oh my God, Leo, like I said, I've got the Titan to build, I've got a whole army to build. Where did these boxes of models come from? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just enjoy it when you can, as you can, and how you can. It doesn't matter. And on that note, that's me done. I hope it's helped. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my face waffle on about God only knows what. Um, I do genuinely hope it does help uh, any of these ideas and things, maybe things you've not thought of or anything like that. I really, really do hope it helps. Um, so on that note guys, take care, rock and roll as always, happy painting, and I will see you soon. Farewell.